Hello everyone, my name is Ishan Jolly, I am a Twitch streamer and voice actor, and welcome to this video where I am showcasing the Earthworks Icon Pro. So, the last video I made was a review on the Earthworks Ethos, a microphone that didn't just strip, didn't sound right to my voice. And the company, Earthworks themselves, reached out to me and offered me this microphone completely free of charge. And... They didn't, they didn't even ask for a review. Not like it would have really mattered. I am a smaller YouTube channel. I don't get that many views. But still, that's remarkable. So, Earthworks? They are a good company. They are a really good mic company, and I can stand by that. The other microphone didn't really suit my voice. They had a lot of, like, sort of bulkiness in the sort of upper bass, lower mid sort of region that uh, just sort of really just kind of muted my voice. And did make it sound very nice. However, this one just has more of a sort of standard condensed microphone, sort of like frequency response. It's much flatter than like a brighter microphone, say like my like my MKH416 or like any Lewitt microphone. But it's just like a very sort of neutral, standard frequency response that I think works really well for a lot of different things. And I like this microphone. I've I've been using it on and off for about a month. Been switching between this one and. Uh, the MKH416. I like this one because it looks really nice on camera. So um, one day I was doing like a karaoke stream and I was using this microphone because I feel like to si singing into this microphone looks a lot better than singing into like an MKH. I mean, I also have this one, which is pretty like, you know, standard for singing, but hey, um, I'll compare the, uh, these ones later as well. But yeah, this is the Earthworks Icon Pro. And honestly, I think it sounds really good. Uh, it's like a very sort of neutral podcasty sound that you can just kind of listen to for hours on end without any ear fatigue or anything. Whereas, like, I don't know. I know a lot of people say that sort of stuff, where, like, neutral, soft-sounding so uh, things are better for long form. I don't know. I, I boost high-end and low-end and compress heavily and use mics like MKH416 or Lewitt 540 Sub-Zero. And that's my preferred sound for live streams, which I stream in between, like, four to ten hours on average. <laughs> Depends how I'm feeling on the day. And, um... Yeah, so this is how the Earthworks Icon Pro sounds like. So let's just compare it up to some other microphones I have here. Alright. Okay, so here we have the Sennheiser MKH416 microphone, and here is how it sounds in comparison to the Earthworks Icon Pro. And here we are back on the Earthworks Icon Pro. And this is how it sounds. And now next up we have the Blue Ember microphone, and this is how it sounds compared to like a budget microphone. And hey, this is how it sounds like. And back on the Earthworks Icon Pro, and this is how it sounds. And now on the Rode NT1 microphone, and this is how it sounds compared to a mid-tier, large diaphragm condenser microphone. And now back to the Earthworks Icon Pro, and this is how it sounds once more. Now I will be comparing it to uh, the dynamic microphones I have, because this is like a sort of podcasty microphone. So let's see how it sounds compared to like microphones you use for that. All right. And this is how the microphone sounds like in comparison to the Behringer Ultra Voice XM8500, a microphone that is very, very cheap and very, very affordable. This is how it sounds. And now we have the Shure SM58 microphone, which is a microphone that's very, very famous for its sort of stage and live vocals application. And this is how it sounds like in comparison. And here is how the Electrovoice RE320 microphone, which is a microphone that's basically intended for the same application as the Icon Pro. And this is what it sounds like by comparison. And now we are back on the Earthworks Icon Pro, and this is how the microphone sounds like. So overall, I'm pretty pleased with this microphone, especially since me, personally. I got it for free to keep, and um, they didn't even ask me to do anything, a review. Um, I should have done this review way earlier, because I got this microphone about a month ago. Or maybe even... When was my last video? I don't know. They, they sent it out like a week after I made that video. Very, very good at that company. Um... And I've just kind of been, I haven't really been in the mood to sort of make videos recently. So yeah, that's I guess why. But um, yeah, so here is my review of the Earthworks Icon Pro. And I feel like it's a pretty solid microphone for like the broadcasting application. All right, bye bye.